Good morning and welcome to day two of our three day, two night trip. This is where we're staying. And these are the little rooms on the beach in Sahara. It's nice, isn't it? And tides out at the moment, but it's coming in. That's your view. So, this is where we stayed last night, Explorer here on Komuk. And we're just up there. I'll take you up there having some breakfast. It's a super, super cool place, really tranquil. We was up at sunrise, as you've probably already seen. We've seen hornbills, loads of starfish. So there's the kids, we're about to have breakfast. <laughs> and then there's the lobby, which is up there. Then there's a big swimming pool there. This little pyramid or teepee is where we had dinner last night, which was lovely. And then this, is the money shot. Check out this view. Check out these little rooms directly on the beach. And look, you can jump out of your room, you can walk down the beach, and bang, you're into the sea. Nice. This is the tropical villa. It offers enough space for three of us to stay. On the deck, you get jaw-dropping beachfront sea views and unbeatable access to white sand and turquoise waters. The large double bed is super comfortable and the extra bed was a proper bed. Zahara loved it. The modern bathrooms have all the facilities you need and a real feeling of nature. It's a great little villa, perfect for us. It's beautiful here. So this is the bungalows. These are the beach bungalows at Explorer. A couple of different options. There's one with a day bed, one without a day bed. Really, really cool. Just been in them. They're very, very nice. Um, not good for those with very young children or if you're elderly, because you do have to climb up a few stairs to get to your bungalow. But they're very cool. And then down here is where we stayed like last night in one of the beach villas, which were very cool. And there you go, Explorer on Komuk. Very chilled out place, as you can tell. Look, and once again, that's not bad, is it? Look at that, stunning. Up here, a couple of hornbills. Come to say hello. Here you are, look. Hello, Mr. Hornbill. There's two of them up there. Can't really see very well, can you? There you go. So, Zahara's just come running up from the beach because I need to go this way. This here is known as a sea dollar. And it's a type of sea urchin, I think, isn't it? And it's very cool. Well done. Now, we've seen the shells of these, but we've never seen a live one. It's like fluffy underneath. Wow. Almost like fluffy spiky. That's amazing. Good find. Right. And take her back. Good job. So we just jumped on the boat. We've had a night here at the Explorer. Licky bum bum down. It's my new song for this place. Um, really, really cool. As you can see behind me, these are the, the villas that we stayed in. We were the one at the back, but it's still really cool. In fact, you can see it. You can see right through. Um, we're gonna get on the boat now. I have no idea what we're gonna do today. I'm very excited. Alex is behind the camera. He's not gonna tell me what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be a surprise. But here we go. Another day, another adventure with Five Star Marine. Very excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> there was one person that said, yeah. Right, let's go. Are you gonna push me? <laughs>
crocodile, whatever it's, what's it called? Gokadan. Gokadan. Yeah. That has to be the most amazing snorkeling all of us have ever done. We saw eels, lobsters, massive jellyfish, uh, Nemo fish, all different types of Nemo fish. Unbelievable Nemo fish called clownfish, <laughs> anemone fish, call them what they are. Best snorkeling I think I've ever, ever done. Alex, best place you've ever taken me. <laughs> Thank this you. place, unbelievable. We almost caught a lobster. Tried to anyway, we didn't get it. Um, Ash, we've been out for what? 40 minutes, an hour almost, on the yeah, water? Yeah. Unbelievable, love it. But I'm super hungry now, we're gonna have lunch. Okay. Yes. Honestly, just one more thing. You know it's great snorkeling. When Captain and Boat Boy are all snorkeling, you know it's a good place for snorkeling. Come in here again, that's for sure. Love it, right, hungry, lunch. Right, so I'm sat here at my beachside restaurant. Kids are playing with Alex in the water. Boys on the boat just chilling. Long tail heading out. That's what I would call idyllic. Wow, super lucky. This place is stunning. So this is cameraman Alex going over and above trying to get the perfect shot of the kids. Bless him. He works hard, doesn't he, old cameraman, Alex? Double duties, look. Look at that. Bless him. Spicy sometime. We got some amazing fresh squid with garlic and black pepper. Oh. You can take one. Okay. And that's our view. It's not bad, is it? Not bad, is it? You like it? Yummy? Good boy. Yummy? Big thumbs up. Right, let's devour. Another thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, good day, guys. How are you? Welcome to Co Crocodile. That's what I call it too. It's fun here. This is where I work most days. Enjoy the rest of your boat trip. So that was lunch here at Co Crocodile. Co <laughs> what do I say? Crocodan. That's one. Crocodan. Uh, the food was amazing. One of the spiciest sometimes I've ever had. I'm still on fire. Um, check out the backdrop though, he's amazing. Right, we're gonna jump on the boat now and we're off to do some more snorkeling and then we're gonna do some more little trips. I'm still not 100% sure where we're going. It's up to Alex, because he's in charge. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, see? Good. And now, uh, by the way, cameraman Alex chose this backdrop. It's not bad, is it? I'll get out of the way, then you can really see it. Sean, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sean, get back on the boat. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, Sean. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Oh, it's not Sean. Harvey wants to say good morning, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so there's so much you can do on these trips. Remember, we're out for three days and two nights. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to go in to this cave. Now, you might not see a cave there, but trust me, when we take you in there, there's a cave there. And it's a bit of a secret. I can't show you what Alex is dressed like, but it's hilarious right now. <laughs> it's very, very funny. It looks like he's either a baby or an old person. <laughs> He's got, he's got an upside down boy say on. Anyway, we're gonna show you in a minute because we're gonna take you somewhere inside this rock formation. It's gonna be very, very cool. We're very excited. Emerald Cave, people, we ready? Yes? Right, let's go, let's do it. I wanna point out that um, cameraman Alex has started a trend now. This is what he looks like. He's ready to go. Sahara's ready to go. Ashton's ready to go. And you can, I'm ready to go. And we're about to go into the Emerald Cave. Let's go team. What do we look like? <laughs>
Hello. Um, I couldn't bring my phone in here, so I've got the GoPro, so hopefully the sound's not too bad, but this place is amazing. It is just stunning. So we swam in, as you probably saw from the footage, and then we're just in this epic cave, which is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let me show you straight up. That's probably freaking you out, isn't it? <laughs> I shouldn't really do that. But yeah, this place is just stunning. Wow. Make sure you come to Emerald Cave. It's worth it. Peace. Cool, look. You can even check in with your Sharp Plus just in case. And then you check out again. That's good. Yeah. It's a really cool fern. It probably, yeah, it's a, a palm tree. It looks better in real life than probably on the camera. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's very cool. I'm going to do some botany for you, and I said botany. This here is what they call an elephant palm, or elephant ear palm, because obviously, the, as you can see from the size it is, actually, that's good actually, stay there. That is one massive elephant ear. You can probably see better. The one down here that's fallen down, unfortunately. Look at this, the size of that thing. Cool turtle. Same position, but this is around about 20, 25 minutes later. Um, we've all just been in to the Emerald Cave, which was very, 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 very cool. It's um, definitely worth seeing, and luckily we came here where it wasn't too many people. It is stunning in there. It is so, so beautiful. Highly recommend it when you're out here on the trip. Make sure you go in Emerald Cave. There you go. Another amazing day on a five-star marine tour and a stunning sunset just to put the icing on the cake of this perfect day. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, to finish it off, a fantastic dinner back at the Explorer Resort. Oh, there's Zahara, doing her bay watching to the sea at sunset. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>